guys, David Texas here. What you're looking at is a nice little Sigma. It's probably from the 80s, right? Nice shape. Let's take a look at the back of it. Yep, it's a split back. It's got something in it too. <laughs> we'll figure out what's in there and take that out. But what we're going to do is uh, get these strings off here. And then we're going to uh, start setting it up for him. So we're going to pop these pegs out, guys, and just do the leverage on them. And then we're going to oil this baby up. Of course, we oil the bridge as well. Okay, so got them out. Wow. One's in there stuff there it comes. It's what's down there bent and it's pulling over to the edge and capturing that bobbin. I can always push it back down, I can't get them out. Put my big old hand in there and pull them out. Full of rust. Oh, well, is it really? Yeah. Oh. Unless you want to put rust in your cheese. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> it's best just to buy the, the, you know. Yeah. It's best to go ahead and buy the thing, my bomb, right? Okay. You're not allergic to anything, are you? What? No, allergic to anything, are you? Nope. nope. Okay. Nope. No skin rashes, nothing like that? No. Nope. Yeah, it's amazing considering how much. How much I've abused myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that feeling. You know. Of course, mine was not abused. Mine was damaged. Yeah. Yeah. Too much sports and one too many car accidents. I've had a couple of couple of cars before, but I've never gotten much more than a few scratches. Oh man, that don't sound like too much fun. <laughs> yeah, I've heard those, yeah. yeah well, I, got a, I got a lawyer working on them right now. Well, good for you. They say it might take a year or two or three. Oh hell yeah. yeah. This class action will take forever. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do right now, guys, we're going to get us a little spritz and clean this and polish it up for him. Top clean. Right? Yeah, nice. And then we're going to go in there and check that truss rod. Make sure it's working, but first of all, let's get that neck set up and get it uh, soaked up. There's some more string left on this thing. Get that done. Okay, so put it on there about five, ten minutes. We're going back over and take it back off again. And the next thing we're going to do is polish up these frets. And what you guys don't see is that pipes of erasers on these. I just got a brand new one. Stumac. So I wore the first one out <laughs> doing these things. And believe it or not, I wear out an eraser that's only been six months since I bought this thing. Usually it uh, lasts quite a lot longer. But I've been doing a lot of these setups. So let's get it out. 
This will put you to sleep pretty quick. Watch me polish frets, you know? Okay, so. Your thing in line, there we go, okay. Here's my brand new one. And what this does is takes those little micro scratches off the fret, cleans them, polishes them, makes them smoother to play. Okay, so once again, I forgot to do it on film, but we got a very straight neck using my scale. No problems whatsoever. Of course, got some frets that are sharpening up, but if he, uh, if they get any sharper on it, I explain to him how to fix those. And it's not that hard to do. It's pretty simple. Get that sharpness off of there. So we use both the uh, grinding eraser at 220, right, and the polishing eraser at four, 1200, not 14. You get this thing set up and running, right. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to spring her up and get her tuned up and go from there, so hang in there. Okay guys, so it's time to string this thing up. And what we do, we come up to the second tuner, pull that tight, we bring it back, we counter wrap it. So that's gonna pull against, right? Pull that nice and tight. And then we take our little jewel tool and we string her up. Those work real well, you know. Like I said, I work with too many guitars to do that and use one of those, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what I try to do is get these things around twice so you can do adjustable tuning. You know, drop tunings you want. Okay. Now, if these are too low and they're fret buzzing, what we can do is shim it. You know, put a little shim underneath the saddle. All right. And that won't take much. But I think it should play. It looks like they got clearance. So maybe for this first fret, and then that'd be the nut. But this guitar's not been played enough to have any kind of wear on it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, we'll see. I'm going to have a problem with it buzzing against the frets or anything, but uh, you never know. I'm like sad. I haven't touched it in probably 20 years. Well, I just, well that, you know, that's the case. It shouldn't have any problems. Hi right, guys, we just finished setting up his little Sigma guitar, and what do you think about the setup? It's pretty oh, nice. It's great, yeah, it's uh, probably the best I've heard in years. Okie doke. Well, let's go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Uh, my name's Greg Smith, and I uh, found this little place on Facebook on the, the uh, channel for selling things, and got a call, and Dave <laughs> said, "Bring it on over, and I'll tune it up for you and get it straightened out." And he's done cool. a fantastic job. Thank you. Let's hear some. Let's hear some <laughs> play. Yeah. Now, I haven't played for about 20 years, so don't get excited. <laughs> my, my fingers still don't know where they should be going anymore. Oh, let's see if I can remember how to play an F. That's a C. That sound right. Yeah. I tell you what, why don't you play that D chord again and strum for a while. Uh -huh. Give some volume, yeah. Yeah, strum it, there you go. A, yeah. G. Oh. Cool, cool. Uh, that's going to take a while. Yeah, of course, man. You have played 20 years, just picked up today. I mean, right. <laughs> you can't expect it to come back that fast. It's, not, it's really not a bicycle. It really isn't. That's going out to it again. Yeah, it is a little bit. Well, you know, it's brand new acoustic strings. You play them for about oh, a yeah. minute or two and they're out again. Yeah. Okay, well, guys, any questions, give me a holler. Dave in Texas. Bye. Say bye. bye.
Oh, goodbye, fellas. Need that guitar work? Here's a place to go.